Hello and welcome to Hump Day Poetry. Poetry reading is meant to get you through the rest of your week. So in this video, I'm going to be reading For the Wake and Skeleton Dance by contemporary Australian poet Samuel Wagan Watson. For the Wake and Skeleton Dance by Samuel Wagan Watson. The dreamtime Dostoevsky's murmur of a recession in the spirit world, they say, the night creatures are feeling the pinch of growing disbelief in Western rationality, that the apparitions of black dingoes stalk the city night hungry, their ectoplasm on the sidewalk in a cocktail of vomit and swill, waiting outside the drinking holes of the living, preying on the dwindling souls fenced in by assimilation. The dreamtime Dostoevsky's ponder as, dr as dark riders in the sky signal a movement for the wake and skeleton dance, it's payback time for the bureaucrats in black skins and the fratricide troopers before them, with no room to move on a dead man's bed. Is it all worth holding on to these memories amidst the blood-drenched sands? Better to forget. The dreamtime Dostoevsky's feel the early winter, chilled footsteps walk across their backs in the dark hours. The white man didn't bring all the evil. Some of it was here already, gestating, laughing, intoxicated, untapped, harassing the living, welcoming the tall ship leviathans of two centuries ago that crossed the line drawn in the sand by the serpent, spilling dark horses from their bowels in something called the Covenant infecting the dream time with the ghosts of a million lost entities, merely faces in the crowd at the festival of the dead, the wake is over, and to the skeleton dance the bone men, men smile, open season on chaos theory and retirement eternal for the dream time Dostoevsky.